Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you through my nighttime shower routine. Shower time is sacred for me because this is the one time of day when I will not rush. So I'm going to show you everything that I do from start to finish. I did just finish a workout, so I'm going to start by washing my face with the Advanced Deep Cleansing Gel from Routine Plus. You're going to notice throughout this video that I'm moving very slowly and intentionally, and that's on purpose. This is almost therapeutic for me because it's like I'm literally washing the day off my body. It's cleansing both physically and emotionally for me. Next, I'm going to dermaplane my face or essentially shave it. I got a huge bag of these on Amazon. They are pretty affordable. So that's the blade I'm showing you and everyone has a different way of doing this. I do it on dry skin and what you're seeing is the blade taking off all of the dead skin and peach fuzz. It helps if you pull the skin so it's tighter, the blade will just glide across your skin more easily. It is totally normal, even for women, to have hair on your face. Now, if you have hair on your face and it doesn't bother you, then you don't need to do this. But I just love the way it makes my skin feel, and it also helps my skincare products and my makeup go on more smoothly. I am always surprised by how much it gets off. That is just outrageous to me. I do this a couple times a month, and I just love the results. And no, your hair does not grow back thicker. Next, I am hopping in the shower. I love to romanticize my showers and make them feel extra special and luxurious. You'll see that I have some eucalyptus hanging off the shower head, which I actually just upgraded. Uh, this new shower head has a filtration system, which you really need in Las Vegas because we have very hard water and hard water is bad for your hair and skin and nails. So I'm hoping this helps with the hair loss that I've experienced over the years. I'm gonna add a shower steamer. This is just a tablet that you put under the stream of water and it dissolves and it smells really nice. I did oil my hair and my scalp today, so that's why it looks so greasy. And please be kind in the comments I know how bad my hair loss is, and um, it's something I'm very self-conscious about. This Argan Oil Shampoo from Cabs smells so good, and I've had really good results with it. I really take my time washing my hair. I know some people just wash the roots and then let the shampoo drip down the ends, but I wash everything. Because my hair is so thin, it gets oily very quickly, so I spend some time here. A little trick I picked up is before you condition your hair, you should wring out the excess water because if your hair is too wet when you apply conditioner, it kind of just slides right off instead of your hair absorbing any of it. I know some people just condition their ends so that their roots don't get greasy, but I get a very dry, itchy, flaky scalp if I don't condition. I've tried not conditioning my scalp before, it just doesn't work for me. So I put conditioner everywhere. I'm clipping my hair up and then I'm going to move on to my body. I always wash everything from the top down. So this is a Korean washcloth and if you were to feel it, you would notice that it's a little more abrasive. And this is so great for exfoliating your skin. As long as you're under the water long enough, you will actually see the dead skin coming off. Um, I love doing this before I shave, but I only do it maybe once or twice a month because I notice that if I do it more frequently, uh, my skin gets irritated. I've got this body wash from Ivory. You're probably noticing that I don't buy super expensive uh, shower products and skincare products. I've just never seen the point. Uh, I'm clearly enjoying myself here. And now I'm moving on to shaving. This razor is made from recycled plastic. I will drop the Amazon link in the description below. One trick I picked up for shaving under your arms specifically, I shave down and up 
I shave from side to side and I even shave diagonally. Next, I'm going to shave my arms. I know this isn't for everyone, it's just a personal preference. I do it honestly once every few months maybe because this hair does not grow back very quickly. Um, I just like the way it looks and feels. I'm half Lebanese and I've got Italian blood in me and we're just hairy people so I like to shave my arms sometimes. Moving on to my legs next. They're going to be so smooth after using that washcloth. To be perfectly honest, I don't often shave above the knee these days. I don't know why I stopped doing that. I just, honestly, I don't really care. I shave the bottoms and, and that's it. And the hair on my thighs actually grows in blonde, so it just doesn't bother me as much. I have one more thing I like to do before I moisturize, and that is exfoliate my hands with these crystals. This is supposed to be like doing an at-home microdermabrasion. I will only do this once a week max, just so my skin doesn't get irritated, but I just wet my hands, put a little bit of soap on them, pour some of the crystals into the palm of my hand, and then give them a gentle scrub. All right, let's keep going. Next, I'm going to use the Intensive Repair Cream from Dr. Althea. I love this stuff. It's super nourishing and you don't need a lot of it. A little bit goes a long way. I make sure to get all around my eyes and down my neck. And this is just another way that I like to pamper myself. My skin went through a lot, so I want to be sure to add that moisture and hydration back in. Next, I'm going to do my laser hair removal and I am seeing good results from this. It's just taking a little longer than I thought it would but I crank that bad boy up to the most powerful setting and then you push the button until it's on the body part that you want to laser and you have to wear these men in black glasses to protect your eyes. Um, <laughs> so I'm starting with my armpits and I am seeing results. The hair is getting thinner and more patchy so it's definitely working. I also use this along my bikini line which I'm not going to show you for obvious reasons my legs and I did start my arms but I'm gonna go back to those later. All right now it's time to moisturize. I have this basic cheapo lotion and then what I like to do is add oil to it. So this I believe it's pronounced along along. That oil is what I put in the diffuser before my shower and I just put a few drops into the lotion, mix it between my hands, and then rub it on my skin. And it adds a nice scent to the cream, it makes it a little more nourishing, and it also helps the lotion go a little bit further. You get more out of it. Here I am flossing my teeth. I like to use a dental pick, and uh, this is one of those biodegradable, compostable, eco-friendly toothbrushes. I try to make these swaps when I can, just to be a little more eco-friendly. Next, I've got the lip mask from Laneige. Honestly, I don't know how this is any different from any other lip balm, but I like it. It feels nice. And then it's time to tackle this mop, which has had time to dry a little bit. I am very, very gentle on my hair. I start with the ends and I work my way up very slowly so that I rip out as little hair as possible. My hair is definitely a sensitive topic for me. Um, you know, you saw how thin it was in the shower, so I just try to be super gentle with it, take care of it, and not mess with it too much. The hair that I do have is very healthy, so that's nice. I'm feeling so fresh and clean, so I'm gonna head to the closet and get in my jammies. Here's my little guy, his name is Peanut. He's my best friend in the whole world and my husband's been out of town, so that means that Peanut gets to sneak up into the bed and sleep with me, which we both love. And that's pretty much it. I usually end my night reading, 
That's one of my favorite things to do. And then I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I hope this video brought you some peace and serenity and I'll see you in the next video.